Hello and good evening. I welcome you all again. We were talking about something regarding professions in the previous lecture. If you could remember what were we talking about? Yes. Okay, so we were talking about the inventions. And okay, so who did we talk about? Yes, we will be, we did talk, talk about a chocolate maker, okay? And we did talk about an entrepreneur, okay? So how did he make it? Okay, very good, excellent. So it's basically behind every invention, the curiosity or interest or some kind of experimentation. So it tells us how good and how important it is to be to take interest in the things and to improve our understanding. Today, we will talk about three other inventions and it will be regarding reading comprehension, listening comprehension. You will understand the meanings, what we call vocabulary, three things. And then we have some comprehension questions here, what we do in the, the uh, reading or listening. So you will answer who was the inventor, when did he invent the date, how and why did he invent and what's the important. We'll answer the same these questions and we'll do you some uh, past tense and some present tense uh, both ways in it to follow these answers. So let's listen and while listening you can read it as well. Unit 8. Tape script 8.1. Jeans. Two Americans, Jacob Davis and Levi Strauss, made the first jeans in 1873. Davis bought cloth from Levi's shop. Okay, so who were the inventor of jeans? Yes, it's there, excellent. Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis, excellent. He told Levi that he had a special way to make strong trousers. So why was it made? When did, okay, why was it made? Is it says yes, special or strong trousers. And in trousers, keep this thing in mind, it's one of the name nouns which has plural structure like pliers, like spectacles, etc. Excellent. Workmen. The first jeans were blue. In 1935. Jeans became fashionable for women. Okay, so in 1923, when 1923, okay, it was blue, and in 19, yes, 65, it became a fashion. So earlier, it was special trousers for for who? For the workers, workmen or workers. Excellent after they saw them in Vogue magazine. So Vogue magazine, it became fashionable. What, what is the meaning when it became fashionable? Vogue stands for fashion, excellent. So it's related to fashion, fashion magazine. In the 1970s, Calvin Klein earned $12.5 million a week. So $12.5 million, it's a big amount, huh? So they earned from it in 1970s. Excellent. Jeans. Television. So television, huh? Television. Tally and vision. You, you would try to find out what's the meaning. A Scotsman, John Logie Baird, okay. transmitted the first television picture on the 25th of October, 1925. The first thing on television was a boy who worked in the office next to Baird's workroom in London. In 1927, Baird sent pictures from London to Glasgow. In 1928, he sent pictures to New York and also produced the first colour TV pictures. Aspirin. Felix Hoffman. Okay. 29 so, what we perceive from this, it has got to do with something 
what we say pictures transfer or video transfer, we do know what television, tele means far and vision means looking from far, as you can see me from here, excellent. And it was invented when 1925 by, by a, where was he from? He was from Scotland and he sent pictures where to where Glasgow, okay, where is it? All right, it's in Scotland, another city and also New York, America, excellent. What's the importance that you can communicate pictures or communicate information, etc. So it's a good communication source. Excellent. The old chemist who worked for the German company Bayer invented the drug aspirin in March 1899. He gave the first aspirin to his father for his arthritis. By 1950, it was the best-selling painkiller in the world. And in 1969, the Apollo astronauts took it to the moon. The Spanish philosopher José Ortega y Gasset called the 20th century the age of aspirin. Excellent. So it was invented by Hoffman, okay, in 1999. How and why? for father, and it is about arthritis. You can say it's a painkiller, okay? It's a reliever, and yes, it's good for blood, good for heart, and it's good for pain, excellent. So you see, we have had these open questions, who invented these other people? When was invented these other dates? How? And why? Because of some certain needs, it was done. And these all people are so important and the, their inventions are important. And this is how we communicate ideas. And we did talk about some past and present structure. Thank you very much. I now ask you to follow other comprehension questions which are related to these uh, inventions. And I, I 